everyone, welcome back to Carriage Plans, where I am planning out my weekly view in my Live Rich Planner from the Budget Mom using the May Romance Kit from Life in Envelopes. And I get the small size Live Rich Planner sheet, as well as the universal functional boxes for a seven by nine. And I've kind of already got these kind of pre-prepped. So we're gonna get started setting this up. It has been a crazy Saturday so far. I don't know if I'm gonna get this edited and uploaded today or Sunday, so you'll have to see once it uploads when it shows up. Um, last night, the kids had a scout event. Um, my oldest is old enough to start earning his whittling chip where they learn how to use a pocket knife. So we did some introductory stuff with that last night. Then this morning, we had another scout activity which I thought we were doing a park cleanup at one of the local community parks. Oh, no, no. So that was just where we were meeting. Turns out we drove about a mile or so down the road and we got to clean a hill that leads out of the county park that is probably about three quarters of a mile worth of a hill. So we went up the hill picking up garbage and down the hill picking up garbage. And I thought we were done. Oh, no, no. We did another mile stretch on the flat road outside of the park as well. And spring finally decided to show up in southwestern PA today. So it was about 80 degrees. And I, I am not a fit woman. I, I have had two kids and exercise doesn't really uh, work out for me most of the time. I have the Peloton, but I wouldn't say that like, um, I exercise much. So going up that hill, I know that tomorrow I'm going to be hurting and my kids are screaming. So let me close the door real quick here. Yeah, so I know that tomorrow my body <laughs> is not going to be real happy with me. So that was fun. So after that, um, it was only supposed to be 930 to 11. And I'm like, okay, great. We'll get out of there. I'll do my grocery pickup for 11 to 12. By the time we get to Walmart, it'll be ready. And I can go get that. Oh, no, no. We cleaned until we got to the end of that road. And it was like 10 after 11 by the time we were done. And they were supposed to have like pizza and snacks afterwards um back at the other where the meeting spot and i was like oh man we gotta go because i i pack my weekends pretty tight because i don't get a lot done after work during the week so i was like oh we gotta go so we ended up driving through mcdonald's and grabbing lunch on our way to pick up our groceries got our groceries and came back home to um, my Audair kit arrived finally. It was a day late. Um, if you've been watching my Instagram, you know that I'm starting with this new company, Audair, that provides natural hair care products, uh, toxic free. So that finally came today. So I was really excited for that. And I unboxed that over on Instagram. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Um, but of course, after doing this hill and all this other crazy stuff, I was nasty and sweaty and I was waiting all week to wash my hair with the new product. So my hair was a little gross as well. So I just got done taking a shower. My hair is still wet. Um, but the shampoo, the height, the wash and the rinse, the conditioner, amazing. They smell so good. Um, I cannot wait to try the other three products as I dry and style my hair. That'll be later this afternoon. I'm going to let leave this wet while I get some of this stuff done. But I am just blown away. Like, I... It smelled like I was in, like, a world-class spa, not my bathroom in south of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I was so impressed. And the way that I the lather and everything was just amazing. I really felt like my hair got clean and I, I did um, use the, the wash twice. So the first time, because it doesn't have those sulfates in there, that's what makes your shampoo sudsy. 
Um, it didn't lather very much, and my hair was very, very dirty, like four days worth of dry shampoo dirty. So I did it the second time, and I mean, it was just such a luxurious lather, and my hair felt instantly cleaner and softer. And then I did the rinse on the bottom half of my hair, and that was amazing too. So I'm really excited to kind of finish it up and dry it and see how it turns out. But we are, I am building a wait list for when the products are available to the public. So if you want on that wait list, send me an email, get on my Instagram and my DMs and let me know you want on the wait list because those are the people that I'm gonna be contacting first when we can order it for the public. So I'm really excited. So that's one of the things that was going on today. Um, yeah. So, and then tomorrow we're gonna get the boys' haircut. And on top of all of that, it was such a busy week at work. We had had a pretty slow period, like one busy day here and there, but I mean like this week, I had probably at least four days where I was like nonstop, go, 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 very busy. So I'd like to build some time in for some relaxing today if I can. <laughs> That would be nice. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if that works out. The kids go to their dad's two nights this week. We're getting close to the end of the school year already, guys. Can you believe that? Like, I, I don't know, like summer's coming. My grass, I got half of my grass cut this week. Um, not real worried about the other half. I did the front half that my neighbors can see because I have, um, I'm sure everybody, raise your hand if you have this neighbor that cuts their grass like every other day. And then when you go to the mailbox and they're outside, they're kind of like sneering at you because there are critters crawling out of your grass because you just don't have time to do it. So I have one of those neighbors straight across the street from me that their grass is always cut and ready to go. And I'm, I'm not in that season of my life. And that's, that's how I'm explaining it. I'm just not in that season of my life where cutting my grass is my first priority. Um, if you're watching my plan with me, you can see we've got all kinds of stuff going on. So we'll be back at Pete's Barn again this weekend for Friday night. We've got Taekwondo, we've got appointments. I've got a Zoom meeting at four o'clock on Wednesday for budget coaching. I'm getting very ready to launch my budget coaching business as well. I've done some side work, um, but I still have some stuff to do to like officially launch it. And then I have a dentist appointment on Tuesday also at 7.50, but we'll just do that there. Um, my training call for Adair is on Monday nights. And that is also the night that I have date night. So I usually, I usually catch the replay of the training the next day, but I like to put it where it belongs. And then Sunday night next week, I need to change my contacts. Um, We'll just do regular church this week. Boy, I talked a lot there. I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, payday is on Friday. It's just, that's how much stuff is running through my head on a daily basis, like all the stuff that I need to get done. Saturday. I don't want to tell the kids yet, but I think we're going to plan on going back to Kennywood for at least part of the day. So I'm going to go ahead, depending on the weather, of course, I'm going to go ahead and put Kennywood on for Saturday. We'll see. We have season passes, and I really just want to get some good use out of them. So we'll try to do that, and I want to try to cut my grass on Sunday and meal prep. Guys, I made a meal plan for this week. How exciting is that? Check this out. Look, 
I have a meal plan. I made a grocery list. I picked all this stuff up this morning. I have a meal plan. And I think I got everything that I need, so that's exciting. And then laundry, I think I'm gonna work on on Friday night after we get back from Pete's. That way if I have anything to finish up, I can finish up Saturday morning before we go to Kennywood, if we go to Kennywood. And then digital clean out. I have a lot of files. When I moved from PC to Mac, I have a lot of files like on Google Drive, Evernote, OneDrive, and I just really want to start putting everything kind of all in one place. So that's what I'd like to do there. And then I do have some work that I want to do. Look, I made a new sticker sheet, guys. This isn't the final washi. I just was in a hurry and just put one of my brand colors over there. But I made a fuller size sticker sheet that I'm testing out. So if I have <laughs> if I have time, oh god, that's funny. Um, to kind of update some stuff in my Etsy shop as well. Right now, the 21 colors of the budget stickers are working really well. Um, and I'm able to keep up with those just fine. Um, adding something new is questionable, but I would like to redo the script stickers to all be this bigger size sheet. Um, and maybe the budget stickers at some point as well. So we'll see about that. And then we're gonna work on my business. A couple days this week on Tuesday evening. Wednesday evening and Saturday evening because so we're not staying at the park all day I can guarantee you that okay so I do have some of these bigger boxes left over I uh, might still use those so I'll tuck those in the back and uh, I think that was about it for this week. So the only other thing that I usually add is the weather and then my running to-dos. And I usually pick a matching dot marker color. And I think I'm gonna do this light blue this week. I think it's the same one I used last week. No, nope, that's different. This is a different one. So I think I'm gonna use this one this week to make my dot checklists as I work through my week. So that is the week of April 25th in my Live Rich Planner. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out Instagram if you want to know more about Audare and all the hair stuff and fun. And keep your eyes peeled for budget coaching launching soon. Have a great day. Bye.